Join us this week as we share our adventure of our 2023 father-son fall photography trip. In last week's video, part one, we explored the great sand dunes of Colorado and the beginning of one of the most beautiful roads in the San Juan Mountains. In today's video, we continue exploring the mountains and we work our way towards our main goal for the trip. Our goal is to revisit this one area from previous years to try to capture one particular scene. In the past years, I haven't been able to capture it with the right light or more beautiful sky. Fingers crossed, this will be the year. Oh yeah, we found another spot. Now this is beautiful. It's kind of a woodland scene. It's right on the road. Just beautiful. Take a look at this. I love this. Oh, it's so awesome. It's so cool. Check it out. Look at how the trees are curved and curving one way and curving another way. Just a beautiful scene. Look at that. Beautiful aspen grove. Love that. It's even better when the light hits it. Beautiful. I might have get, I gotta get a picture of this. All right, so I got my scene set up here. I tell you, it's, it's a beautiful scene. It's just neat driving straight, straight up into it. It's so neat. But I'm not sure I know how to capture it on camera. I'm not sure how I know how to get the right composition just to show you how how neat it is, how beautiful it is. I'm gonna give a, my best shot, but it's just not the same on the camera. Sometimes it's like that. Sometimes it's just hard to capture what you see on the camera, but I'll give it a shot here. Look at look at what I've, so hopefully you can see this. I've got the road coming up into the trees and you got these trees that curve this way. It's really neat. They curve that way. And you got some trees that curve that way and some trees that go straight. And the road kind of goes right up in there. Now, there are some trees to the left there, and I'm trying to keep those out. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to keep those out. They don't add to it, they take away from it. Something about like that. But I'm still not sure that really captures the beauty I'm seeing. Hopefully these turn out okay. I'm gonna give that a shot. I'm, I'm gonna sit here and play around with it a little bit. See what I can come up with. I may need to spend more time on it. Uh, I'm parked right, right on the edge of the road <laughs> and my tripod's in the middle of the road. So this, hopefully, there's no, hopefully there's no traffic. But yeah, hopefully this shot will give it justice. I'm gonna play around and try multiple shots. Whatever I come up with, if they're any good, I'll put them on the screen. And then we're gonna then we're gonna take off, keep driving. In the end, I liked a landscape aspect over portrait. What I believe really attracted us to this scene was the specific timing of the sun rising to the east. We had hit the scene at just the right time. It lit up the valley behind and below the trees, giving it a more ethereal, bright look. This otherworldly time feeling is what first tempted us to stop. While I was taking time to capture this scene, my son was also capturing a scene of his own. He sent it to his sister to show just how great a time he was having with his old man. Well, hopefully those turned out okay. It's hard to tell until you get them on the computer. But uh, I th hopefully I captured what I was seeing, man. It's just, it is beautiful. This, uh, these aspen groves are just amazing, especially when they start curving and going all kinds of different directions. Just truly beautiful. If you've, uh, you're probably familiar, but if not, uh, aspens are just really one complete if you find an aspen grove it's one organism it's all attached with the roots and stuff it's one organism this is a popular place this guy here stopped and took pictures also he's driving off now now i'm gonna go drive up to where he was at and uh see if there's anything different there that i didn't capture <laughs> You just never know at different angles. I'm gonna drive closer and find out. He stopped right there, so maybe it's a little bit different, different angle, a better picture. 
us photographers, we don't steal photos from each other. Never. <laughs> Let me check this out. Now, I don't think I missed much. I, I think I got whatever shot he was looking at covered. <laughs> I took enough shots, that's for sure. Let me show you something, though, that really, really just ticks me off. This is why I wish these roads were even harder to get to. It just ticks me off, man. Don't do this. This aspen, these three trees right here, these three are the biggest alongside this patch here. And look at all the riding all over it. Stupid people, man, seriously. It just, it just so aggravating. I mean, luckily from a distance, it's, you can't tell. But there's just no, there's no need. Bert loves somebody. Who the heck cares? Just, just aggravating, man. Aggravating. Let me quit looking at it. It's time to go somewhere else. That just aggravates me. All right, let's drive down the road. But moral of the story: don't do that. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it for future generations. Just don't do it. As I started to pull off, I realized that I was actually missing some really beautiful scenes right in front of me. I did not film, but I stopped for another 20 minutes to try to capture it all. I think this is my favorite from this grove. Which do you like better, the previous scene or this one? We spent the rest of the day driving last dollar road. I'm afraid our captures during the middle of the day in the bright sunlight probably don't do it justice but we had a great time and got to see some really beautiful scenes. I am convinced one could spend weeks exploring this route, finding new scenes and ways of capturing them. It's an amazing drive. In my previous video, we captured a morning scene at the beginning of Last Dollar Road. I promised myself I'd come back to it. My son and I took the rest of the day off to rest and decided to come back that night to try to capture that scene with better light and better clouds. Took a laid around for a couple of hours and now we are back on Last Dollar Road. So on Last Dollar Road, there was one scene that we captured that was beautiful. It's a windy road through the mountains. And then in the distance, you see a, a hill and the mountains. You see, you'll see the mountains, sorry, you see the mountains with aspen trees and you'll see the rocky ice mountain. Beautiful scene. But when we took that picture in the morning, clear blue sky, right? So it wasn't, it was beautiful, but needed some clouds. So we decided to come back and see if we could capture some clouds. We're also here at sunset, so maybe we'll get a little bit of color. Let me show you what we're looking at again. All right, so here's what we're looking at. So again, probably you saw my last video or earlier in this video, we've got the windy road right through here. We have the side of the mountain here covered in aspen trees and some kind of fir or pine trees. I'm not sure what that is. Perhaps a Colorado resident can correct me on that. I'm sure it's not fir or pine, but beautiful trees. And then right up here, of course, is the beautiful mountain. And guess what? Clouds, we got clouds. You can't see it well in the video, but there'll be more clouds in the picture. So that's the idea. We got the windy road going through the landscape. And then we have, uh, the aspen trees on one side and the rocky snow mountain on the other side. I'm excited, so we got clouds and maybe we'll get some light. We're gonna sit around here for the next hour and find out.
All right, so we are at one of my favorite spots. It's a Tuesday morning. We're at Mount Sneffels off Colorado 7. I don't mind giving the location because it's, it's a popular spot. Uh, we were headed somewhere else. And then we saw the, the clouds over the mountain, over Mount Sneffels in the distance. I'm like, oh man, we got to get out there. So we drove out Colorado County Road 7 and uh, made it to my favorite spot. This is one of the main reasons I came back this fall was to get more pictures of this spot. And uh, I didn't have time to film it. The clouds uh, right over the mountain, they were being lit up by the sun. It was so beautiful. Unfortunately, I couldn't pull the camera out at that time and film it, I had to worry about getting the shot. So sometimes that's how it goes. But here, let me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so let me show you the shot here. This is Mount Sneffels. You got these Aspen Grove here coming down and then up through the middle, you got Mount Sneffels. Now this mountain's got character. I love the pointed jagged edges of this mountain. Beautiful mountain, one of my favorites, has lots of character. On this side, you got the mountain coming down, more aspen groves. And look at the clouds. Now these clouds, they were lit up like crazy a few minutes ago. So hopefully I captured some of that. We came at the last part of it. Came at the last part of it. We rushed here, got here just as the sun was rising, and we were able to find a parking spot. It was perfect. There's like 20 different people out here too. So tons of cars. It's a well-known spot, so um, we were so lucky to find a parking spot and be able to walk to the location I wanted to get to. I knew from my last trip exactly where I wanted to go. So hopefully those photos turned out well with the sun lighting up the clouds. But I'm gonna stay here and take a few more shots of this picture. You can see the clouds coming in over here on the right. That's adding a lot of character to the picture. I'll go ahead and take a shot at this, take a few more shots, and then we're gonna drive around and see if we can't find some other compositions to take. So I'm so excited. I can't believe we made it out here in time. We were going somewhere else and we decided last minute. I'm so excited. Very cool. Now, when I first visited this area in previous years, I had heard it had beautiful scenery, but I'd never seen a picture of Mount Sneffels from this spot. I didn't know what to expect and had no idea how popular this scene was. To see it for the first time in real life was amazing, but the weather just would not cooperate with me in that trip. My main reason for this trip this year was for this scene. I wanted to catch it with better light and better clouds. I am so happy. It only took two trips across two years to get the image I was hoping for. This was a successful trip making that 15 hour drive worth it. The wind was a little rough and the weather was very spontaneous. One minute the sun was shining through the clouds and another minute rain clouds had blown across the mountain. I had to take a few shots as it happened. It was so neat the way the clouds covered the mountains but not the valley. It made for what seemed like a very unique moment. All right, so we're at our next stop. It's gonna start raining soon. This is down in the valley, down in the valley beneath Mount Sneffels. It's a beautiful area. Still off of County Road 7. There's a nice creek that runs through here. I wish I was in shape, I'd hike this creek to find a good picture of the creek going up to the mountain. I'm too out of shape for that. Out of breath, out of breath. But this is beautiful, it's starting to rain, I gotta hurry. So I've got this fence line right here. I got this fence line. Now it's, it's going straight up to the mountain, kind of leading lines. And then you got the point of the mountain in the middle and you got these aspen and pine fir grove on the left here. Beautiful scene. My light's kind of kind of coming and going, so I'm gonna have to stick around and try different shots and see what I can find out. See what I can see what I can come up with rather. But wow. I I just love this valley. Oh, people camp out here, bring horses out here. It's a I can see why. 
here at the bottom of Mount Sneffels. It's majestic, man. It's freaking beautiful. I love it. I better take some shots before it gets too, starts pouring down. I only had one picture that I took right before filming this scene that had okay light. The others did not turn out well. Now this picture, this scene, I had definitely seen from someone else's picture. The fence line going straight to the mountain is not something I came up with, but rather something I'd seen someone else do and knew I had to duplicate it for fun. So that's it for this week's video and this trip. If you haven't seen the first video, be sure to check out the upcoming link. Thanks for going on the journey with us. Thank you for watching.